Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, we're going to be making this beautiful Day of the Dead Sugar Skull Wreath. I had a lot of fun making this and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Let me go ahead and show you how to make it. Here is a list of the tools and materials I used to complete the project. For your convenience, I've also included a detailed list in the description box below. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. To get started, you're going to need one of the square wreath forms that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. So you're going to need your pipe cleaners cut in half. And you're going to need uh, several packages of the black deco mesh. I'll let you know when I'm done exactly how many you're going to need. So you want to go ahead and start with two rolls that have been unwrapped. And then we're going to take these and scrunch the ends. You want to pull those together and keep them side by side. Go ahead and wrap your pipe cleaner around. You want to pull it nice and tight and twist. This is how we're going to be attaching it to the frame. Okay. Now you're going to want to go ahead and take your pipe cleaner and push it down through. And we're going to attach it at the crossbar on these two bars. So I just pull the pipe cleaners up, twist them, and then push them back to the back. And then I'm going to pull my ends back through my two pipe cleaners and then do another twist. I want to make sure that's nice and secure. I don't want it to come loose while I'm working on my wreath. And then I just take the ends and push them forward. Then you can trim off some of the excess deco mesh. You just need to leave about a half an inch so that it doesn't pull through. Okay, now when I do this method, I usually put one roll out on one side of my body and the other roll out on the other side of my body. That way they will not tangle together as you're working with it. You're also going to need a ruler. And then you simply just want to grab the mesh and you want to measure out six inches. So once you reach six inches, go ahead and pinch it. Wrap your pipe cleaner. Twist. And then attach it to the two bars on the inside. And then just push it over, pull again, and measure it six inches, pinch, add your pipe cleaner, and you just continue with this all the way around the wreath. 
Once you've completed the inner two rings, then you're going to go back and go around the outer two rings. It doesn't look like a lot now, but when once you get a section done and the section is between the two crossbars, then go back and you'll want to separate your poofs and open them up. And then that'll make it a lot fuller. Now, I really like this method, especially when I'm working with Dollar Tree mesh because the Dollar Tree mesh likes to fray. And because we're not cutting the mesh, you're not going to get any frame. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and work on this for a while and get some done and then I'll come back and show you what it's looking like. So I've gone ahead and done two sections and I did five, excuse me, I did six poofs in the straight section and I did nine poofs on the corner. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting the base on. I'm going to go all the way around the inner two bars. Then I'm going to move to the outer two bars and go around again. Okay. I have finished my base. I'm really happy. It's nice and thick and full. It took a total of 10 packages of the black deco mesh to finish the base. Okay, go ahead and set that aside. Now you're also going to need a roll of this ribbon that you can get from Dollar Tree. And uh, this is the first time I've seen this ribbon at Dollar Tree. I really like it. You will need one roll. You need to go ahead and cut 12 pieces at nine inches and that should use the entire roll. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna go ahead and take those and dovetail them. I just fold the ends together and then cut a little triangle. Okay, and then to make your ribbon bundles, you're going to do two of the two and a half inch ribbons together. You just wanna make sure that you get them in the middle so I always fold it up so I know that I'm in the middle. Pull it nice and tight and give it a twist. So you will end up with six ribbon bundles that each have two pieces of the two and a half inch ribbon in them, okay? Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and prep our sugar skull to go onto our wreath. Dollar Tree carries three different uh, sugar skulls, so you can choose whichever one that you like. They also have a wood cutout of a sugar skull. If you wanted to paint it yourself and make your own design, you could use that as well. Okay, so go ahead and trim off the hanger. And then where the hole was, I'm going to run a piece of floral wire. You just want to pull something out, I don't know, about uh, 12 inches or so. And I'm going to feed it right through the same hole where the hanger was. So I pull it to the back, so one comes one of the wires comes over the top, the other one comes through the hole. And then I just pinch it really close and then twist. Okay, so this uh, I will use to attach the wreath at the top. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and glue on two pipe cleaners down here so that I can attach them. So to attach the pipe cleaners. I'm just going to lay down a dollop of hot glue and lay my pipe cleaner right in the middle and I'm using a full piece of pipe cleaner. And then I just go back 
and put a little bit more hot glue over the top. So go ahead and get your pipe cleaners attached and let that glue completely set before you attach it to your wreath. So I have my sugar skull attached and I simply took the floral wire and ran it to the back and I attached it right up here at the point. Right here at the point. And then I fed on the bottom on either side the two pipe cleaners through and attached them to the bar. Okay. Now you don't want to tighten it down until you're sure that you get your um, sugar skull in the correct place. Now we're going to go ahead and add the ribbon. And again, you just take it and feed it on through to the wire bar. Wherever you would like to place them. Go ahead and twist. And then either cut off or tuck down the ends. And then when you fluff them, you want to pull them apart so it almost looks like a little flower, like that. I'm going to go ahead and add in my six bundles of ribbon and then I'll come back and show you the next step. I have all my ribbon bundles in. Next you're going to need a package of these little white glittery skulls and they are called decorative filler and you get 12 pieces then all we're going to do is go ahead and glue one sugar skull right in the middle of the ribbon okay they just need to be careful these are styrofoam and if your glue gun is too hot it may end up melting your styrofoam and then when you place your head you want to make sure that they're all facing the same direction as the big head okay so i'm going to go ahead and fill those in okay so i have all my little skulls in i think they look really cool absolutely love them now I'm going to add one more item and I've chosen to add some pink roses and I'm also going to be adding their greenery. So on the back of where the leaves are is this little plastic piece. You need to pull that off. Pull the head of your rose off and then add a little bit of hot glue right where the stem is. And then slide those leaves right back on. Okay, and you only need one stem that has six blooms on it. And then I'm just going to place one rose in each space. And I'm just simply going to hot glue it onto the wreath. a good dab of glue and then go ahead and place your rose just hold it there for a few minutes so that it sets okay so I'm gonna go ahead and finish adding my roses and then I'll come back and we'll show you the finished product and there you go we're all done I'm really happy with how my sugar skull wreath came out well, I hope you enjoyed today's craft. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Thanks again for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. I hope you and your family are all staying happy, healthy, and strong. You have a great day, and I will catch you next time.